late spring here at the farmette and it is one of my favorite times of year because the peonies are in full bloom oh they smell beautiful and one of my favorite fruits is hitting the markets the first of the season strawberries are here and they are oh, they smell so sweet they're so juicy there's nothing more perfect than a freshly picked strawberry also at the markets, I picked up some sugar snap peas. They are wonderful raw. Also like candy. I could finish an entire basket of these in one sitting, but I'm gonna save them so I can show you how to make some recipes today. So we're gonna be making a sugar snap pea pasta with lemon and ricotta. And I'll also show you my go-to when I see strawberries and rhubarb at the market. I have some end of the season rhubarb. I'm going to be making some einkorn pancakes with strawberry and rhubarb compote. And so today I also wanted to share a little bit with you my process when I go to a farmer's market and my cooking philosophy. So I think that when you eat local, when you eat what's in season, it tastes best and it's the best for you. And so, yes, if I'm definitely craving strawberries later in the year, I mean, I can always pick them up at the grocery store, but there's really nothing like having what's in season when it's in season. When I'm at the farmer's market, I don't go in with a set menu in mind and then try to look for the ingredients there. I go to the market and I go there with an open mind and see what's available, what's at its prime, what, it's, what is at its best and freshest. And so when I went, I saw sugar snap peas. It's late May. I know they come out at this time of year. And strawberries and there was still some rhubarb left. And so from there, my wheels start turning and then I think about, all right, when I get home, what am I gonna to start to prep for the week ahead? What kind of meals can I make and put together with this using some of the staples that I already have? So I have this beautiful einkorn freshly milled um, einkorn flour from a local um, mill here and it is the best flour. It is, einkorn if you've never had it before is golden, has this beautiful golden taste. It has a beautiful golden color also. It tastes a little bit nutty. It has a really deep, complex flavor that you don't really get when you have whole, when you use whole wheat. Uh, so I do use it in place of whole wheat and it just makes such beautiful pancakes, waffles, breads. And so I encourage you to definitely try out einkorn in place of wheat if you have not already or einkorn in place of white flour. It will make a huge difference and it's just so delicious. Uh, they, I know that Thrive Market sells einkorn flour from Jovial or if you can source Jovial einkorn flour, I believe they might have it also at Whole Foods. It is delicious and you'll find yourself once you turn to einkorn you're never gonna want to go back so definitely make this a staple in your pantry what i was going to do with this sugar snap piece today is mix it in with some artisan pasta that i picked up at uh, our local shop and I also am going to toss it in with some lemon mint and ricotta because those ingredients all together, they're greater than the sum of their parts. It just sings at the end when you put that lemon zest, the parmesan, the dollops of the ricotta, some fresh malt and salt and pepper, and it's the best thing. The best thing. It, it just tastes like late spring. <laughs> so let's dig in.
to show you our week our weekend staple which is einkorn pancakes made with buttermilk and since we have beautiful strawberries and rhubarb from the market we're going to top it off with a really nice honey sweetened strawberry and rhubarb compote <laughs> wonderful getting to share my late spring go-to recipes with you today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe down below. You can also check out the full recipes for each of these dishes on my blog at lovelydayfarmet.com. That's lovelydayfarmet.com. It is also linked down below. Thanks so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Welcome to Lovely Day Farm. Welcome to Lovely Day Farm. Welcome to Lovely Day Farm. And how does a strawberry taste? It tastes sweet. I'm taste this one. Mmm.